Hello everyone, welcome to the CDV News on Calabash TV and on the Wave Radio 94.5. I am Lisa Joseph. The concerned faction of the Civil, Civil Service Association, Save Our Union Team or Stout, has reportedly written to the management of the Bank of St. Lucia, apprising the manager of recent developments in the union, as well as what members say is the unconstitutional involvement of an unelected member in the financial dealings of the CSA. In the letter dated June 30th, 2015, Stout informed General Manager Hayden Gittens that on June 5th, 2015, the Acting General Secretary Mary Isaac and members of the National Executive Council of the CSA were served with a petition comprising 512 signatures of financial members of the union requesting an extraordinary meeting to discuss the removal of the NEC from office. The decision by the NEC to disregard this petition constitutes a flagrant breach of the Constitution of the Union, Section 6.92 and 1, and has thrown the organization into a constitutional crisis, the Stout wrote. With the resignation of members of the National Executive Council, the President, Treasurer, Assistant Secretary, Treasurer and Secretary, a quorum, Stout said, Stout said, cannot be reached to allow the NEC to convene meetings and take decisions on behalf of the union. As such, the current situation where an unelected member of the union was appointed to act as treasurer and has been made a signatory to the union's accounts is unconstitutional and constitutes a serious breach of the accounting principles. Stout urged that the Bank of St. Lucia head choose to disassociate the financial institution from such unconstitutional and irresponsible behavior. The Ministry of Health has mounted a full-scale response strategy to ward off cases of whooping cough. So far, six suspected cases have been identified and two of the six cases have been confirmed as having whooping cough. All of the cases have been, have been uh, treated, according to officials, and doing well. Two cases, one child aged four weeks old and a second child aged five months, are currently admitted and receiving treatment at hospital. Whooping cough is a respiratory disease caused by a bacteria. Those most at risk are children and adults who have not received a full course immunization. And for that reason, the ministry has launched an immunization campaign. Dr. Malene Fedricks is the chief medical officer. Because whooping cough is actually a vaccine preventable disease. So parents who have children who are fully immunized need not worry about whooping cough. Um, the children, if the children are fully immunized, they won't get it, they are protected. But we do know that sometimes we have gaps in the system for whatever reason, and some children may not be fully immunized. And so those are the children that will really be targeting under this accelerated immunization campaign in order to ensure that they have coverage. So as we said, this disease, pertussis or whooping cough, it's a vaccine preventable disease and we have the vaccine here. If anybody gets infected, it can be treated with antibiotics and we have the antibiotics as well. And persons who are fully vaccinated, children who are fully immunized, need not worry. The immunization manager, Julieta Cassius there. But health officials have urged that parents not panic, nor should there be mass hysteria about whooping cough, uh, which is spread by the Bordetella pertussia bacteria, which causes respiratory tract infection in three phases. The medical surveillance officer is Dr. Michelle Fosson. As our routine now, we normally give three doses of the pertussis um, vaccine and one booster dose. So in all, a child needs to have at least, well, a child needs to have the recommended four doses of the pertussis vaccine. And that is um, in a combined vaccine, which we give as a pentavalent, which is the diphtheria pertussis tetanus. And um, it's, a single, it's a single injection vaccine. So it, for, it's recommended that all children receive the four doses, all four doses, of the pertussis vaccine. Now, as Dr. Frederick mentioned, with the herd immunity, what that means is that once a greater number of our population is vaccinated, then it, the smaller percentage, that larger percentage will provide some protection to the general population. And when I say that percentage, I'm talking about 
the, between 80 to 95%. Once we have this overall immunization coverage, and in terms of every district, every community in the national, the country itself. So once we have that between 80 to 95% coverage, then we can say that our population is protected and is at low risk. The ministry's accelerated immunization campaign takes immediate effect island-wide. All public health institutions have been instructed to provide a vaccination as well as support services to the public. Julia Joseph is the assistant principal nursing officer. The initial phase is basically like a common cold. The child or individual begins with a cough, usually a dry cough, runny nose, maybe a low-grade fever. This can go on for about two weeks, after which it enters the other phase, which is where the child begins, or the individual, sorry, begins coughing. He experiences episodes of progressive coughing, and at the end of which he expels mucus. This basically assists the child because during the periods of cough, the child may be breathless and may turn a dull, dusky color, which is called cyanosis. Um, after this phase, which usually lasts about a week to two weeks, which is usually the time when um, parents seek medical attention, that child goes into the last phase, which is where the situation resolves. The cough becomes a lot less, the fever decreases, and the child is able to breathe better. What we have seen so far in our population, we have had children between the ages of four months to six months. Um, these children presented, most of them presented with a two-week history of cough and cold, followed by the episodes of cough and vomiting. Um, they all have been treated successfully. They have been placed on antibiotics and all of them have recovered. We still have two who are recovering, recovering very well at hospital right now. Parents who are uncertain of their children's immunization coverage are urged to consult with nursing staff at the various wellness centers.